click subscribe and bell icon to get regular notifications. There are various, a whole list of treatment options are available for the cancer patients who have been diagnosed with the cancer. It depends on the stage of the cancer as I told you. If it is a early stage, then only surgery is sufficient. So the cancer treatment is divided into mainly surgical treatment that is cancer surgery, radiation treatment that is radiation oncology and chemotherapy treatment that is medical oncology. So when the cancer is in early stage, in a treatable stage, in surgical stage, we remove the tumor along with good margins and along with the draining lymph nodes that is called as radical cure. So the cancer, the possibility of cancer coming back will be very, very minimal. So that is called as surgical treatment of the cancer. Then few cancers will require chemotherapy that is when we give some medicines those are cancer killing injections which we will give through the saline or glucose that is called as chemotherapy and there are multiple drugs available uh, for the chemotherapy those chemotherapy drugs they act on the you know the cell cycle um, from growth phase to there are various phases in the cell cycle so different drugs act on the different phases of the cell cycle and they arrest the cell cycle so that from the one cell reproduction of from one cell to other cell will be arrested and the cancer will stop and third modality of treatment that is radiation oncology where there is a machine which is called as radiation suit we have at Yashoda hospital we have a, one of the best radiation machine available which is called as triple F technology or we call it as IMRT intensity modulated radiation therapy IGRT that is image guided radiation therapy then there are different um, techniques that is that those are called as cyber knife or gamma knife where the high voltage x-rays been produced by the beam and they will target it to that particular tumor and those high voltage x-rays will disrupt the DNA and RNAs of the tumor and they will kill the tumor. So that is called as radiation therapy. So and there are now new you know uh, various other options available like immunotherapy. In immunoth immunotherapy we improve our immunity and we discover the new modalities of the drug, new drugs which will improve our immunity and they can kill the cancer cell that is called as immunotherapy. Then there is called gene therapy where various genes we can, uh, you can we can edit the tumor you know the genes and we can cut down the pathways of the in the genes or the mutation so that we can arrest the tumor cell growth and then there are other supportive therapies are available like rehabilitation or uh, physiotherapy or uh, for example when we do some breast cancer surgery patient will have a lymphedema or swelling of the hand so we require a good physiotherapist to give the exercise head and neck cancer neck exercise so these are supportive uh, specialities also available uh, which will come in into the picture as far as the complete holistic cancer treatment is concerned and they, the, now with I will tell one, one or two more recent advances which are in surgical technology uh, of the treatment has been concerned as far as concerned is the, uh, the laparoscopic surgery or minimally invasive surgery. Now open surgeries we do with opening the skin and the removal of the tumor. But you know like laparoscopic cholecystectomy or laparoscopic appendicectomy we can do now laparoscopic cancer surgeries also for uterus removal for uh, esophageal tumor or for other tumors. So those are called as laparoscopic radical hysterectomies or laparoscopic colorectal surgeries. And also for the thorax we do video assisted thoraco thoracoscopic surgery that is called as VATS V -A -T -S, video assisted thoracoscopic surgeries. And now one more step ahead, now we have robotic systems which is installed in Yashoda Hospital Hyderabad which is Da Vinci Robo is installed and the robots are also now helping us to 
do the surgeries the advantage of robotic surgeries in cancer is human wrist has only 7 degrees of freedom it it will move in few direction but it will not move the way i want to move so the advantage of the robotic arm or robotic wrist is it can move in any direction the way i want so where the anatomical constraints are there the where the tumor is very situated at very deep down in very critical area there the robotic systems comes help for the surgeons and then we put the robotic arms into the abdomen or thorax and we remove the tumor the importance here is we get the 10 times magnification the tremors are less everything is under our control the camera the zoom everything is in surgeon's con control there is a robotic console where a surgeon will sit and the patient will be there on the trolley the surgeon will not directly go and do operation on the trolley but he will sit near the console there will be sensors in his hands and there will be few clutches like we have a car brake and clutches in foot pedals and the way i move my fingers or the way i move my hand, uh, leg the camera will focus it will zoom in zoom out or the way i cut here the same action will be reproduced into the patient abdomen or thorax by the robotic arm and it will either cut the tissue or it will seal the um, bleeding or it will take the stitches the biggest advantage of the robotic system is it is the the patient recovery it is very fast patient can quickly join his work we can discharge him early he can join his work very early and the scar also very less the pain of the post operative trauma or the pain also will be very less post operative complications also very less so these are all you know nutshell i told you about the different treatment options available for the cancer treatment basically surgery medical therapy chemotherapy radiation therapy these are broadly treatment options available for the cancer treatment